Hello once again. Welcome to the Building Consultant Show. My name is Sam Wanyuike. Today we want to talk about the building codes that are applicable in Kenya. Or because everyone who intends to build a house will be required by the authorities to comply with the set regulations that are in place. Then you wonder, do we have building codes and what are they? Yes, indeed, we have building codes that help to give guidelines on how every building shall be done. The building will be required to adhere to a given set of regulations or rules that will help in planning the development of the area. Besides, it will also help to ensure that the building is not only fit for use, but also it is stable. One of the building requirements is that you need to leave an allowance for the building. This means every building needs to leave a space from the plot boundary. In this case, if you are building from a road, when there is when there's an access road that is fronting your building, you will be required to leave six meters from the road, from that access road to your building as a requirement. On the sides, you will be required to have at least one side leaving about 2.4 meters from the plot boundary. That is a requirement that is required to, uh, to be adhered to. But then it begs the question, we see so many buildings that have been built from beacon to beacon. Of course, we know that a good number of them may not, may not have complied to the set requirements, but then there is a process that is called regularization for such buildings that will be required to be assessed whether they are stable and then to be able to be given a permission. But it is very important to be able to follow the set guidelines in order to have the building done in the right way. There are also other requirements that are on the engineering aspect that will help to have the building firm and stable. The building will also be required to have adequate lighting, that is, and also proper ventilation. This is done by having enough number of windows and, th and therefore the windows need to be positioned in such a way they are not blocked from other external buildings. Besides ventilation and also air circulation and lighting, you will also be required to ensure that the building is done in such a manner that you will be required to provide for adequate hygienic and sanitary provisions. You also need to give details for the supply of the clean water that will be used on site. And not only that, also how you'll be able to handle the fall water that is coming from the house. This needs to be captured in your plan, how the water is handled. And also, you also need to give indication of the water, a water storage that is meant for firefighting purposes. So all these regulations are required to be met before one is able to get a proper approval. So ensure that you have those in check before you submit your drawings to the relevant authorities for the approval. It will also help your house to be effective and also your compound to be well usable. That is it for today. Thank you for tuning in. Kindly continue subscribing, continue liking our channel, continue sharing to your friends to receive more of this.